Good evening. I'm going to read a poem by Seamus Heaney, which he wrote uh, after he heard Sean O'Reilly play Port Mabuki. Uh, he was inspired to write this poem. It's called The Given Note. On the most westerly blasket in a dry stone hut, he got this air out of the night. Strange noises were heard by others who followed. Bits of a tune coming in on loud weather, though nothing like melody. He blamed their fingers and ear as unpracticed, their fiddling easy. For he had gone alone into the island and brought back the whole thing. The house throbbed like his full violin. So whether he calls it spirit music or not, I don't care. He took it out of wind off mid-Atlantic. Still, he maintains, from nowhere. It comes off the bow gravely rephrases itself into the air. Poet Thomas Kinsler wrote, It's not often that a single person, however gifted, can alter the character of a nation's culture. Oreda did this. So I'm going to read a poem of Thomas Kinsler's called A Selected Life. It's about the funeral of Sean Oreda. Galloping Green, May 1962. He clutched the shallow drum and crouched forward, thin as a beast of prey. The shirt stretched at his waist. He stared to one side, toward the others, and struck the skin cruelly with his nails. Sharp as the answering arid bark, his head quivered, counting. Coulet, 6th of October, 1971. A fine drizzle blew softly across the tattered valley onto my glasses and covered my morning suit with tiny drops. A crow scuffled in the hedge and floated out with a dark groan into full view. It flapped up the field and lit on a rock and scraped its beak. It croaked, a voice out of the rock carrying across the slope. 
foretell. Foretell. The Salan River winding downward in darker green through the fields and disappearing behind his house. Cars parking in the lane, a bare yard. Family and friends collecting in the kitchen. A shelf there, concertinas sprawled in the dust. The pipes folded on their bag. The hole waiting in the next valley. That. A rat lay on its side in the wet, the grey skin washed clean and fleshy, the little face wrinkled back in hatred, the back torn open. A pale string stretched on the gravel. Devil martyr, your sad, mad meat. I have interrupted something. You croaking on your wet stone, flesh picker. The drizzle came thick and fast suddenly. Down in the village, the funeral bell began to beat. And you, waiting in the dark chapel, packed and ready, upon your hour, leaving, a few essentials forgotten, a standard array of dependent beings, small, smaller, pale, paler, in black. Sundry musical effects, a piercing sweet consort of whistles crying, goose-necked wail and yelp of pipes, melodians snoring in sadness, drum bark, the stricken harpsichord's soft crash, a lurid cabinet, fires, flames plotting in the dark, hugger, mugger and murder, collapsing back in laughter, angry goblets of Ireland's tears, stuffed with fire, touch, salute, men's guts ignite and whiten in satisfaction. A workroom askew, fumbling at the table, tittering, pools of idea forming. A contralto fills the room with earth's autumnal angst. The pools coalesce, here and there in the shallows, dim spirits glide, poisson de la melancholie. The banks above are smothered in roses, among their glowing harmonies, bathed in charm. A cavalier retires in fancy dress, embracing her loving prize. Two baby angels, each holding a tasseled curtain corner, flutter down clucking and mocking complacently, liquids of romance babbling on the concrete floor. Let us draw a veil. St. Gobnet's graveyard, Balavurni, that evening. The gate creaked in the dusk, the trampled grass soaked and still was disentangling among the standing stones after the day's excess. A flock of crows circled the church tower, scattered and dissolved, chattering into the trees. Fed. His first buried night drew on, unshuddering and welcome. Shudder for him. Piero limping forward in the sun out of Marion Square, long ago in black overcoat and beret, pale as death from his soiled bed, swallowed back. Animus brewed in clay, uttered in brief meat and brains, flattened back under our flowers. 
gold, and still he lay on his second last bed. Dottore, a withered smile, the wry hands lifted. A little while and you may not. Salute, slan, yobtvoi o mat, master, your health. <laughs>